Hello all, welcome back to Shaving with Peg Leg. A little late, but <clears throat> we're here. It's like 11.30 at night, and I gotta go see Mom again tomorrow at rehab, so I wanna go in the morning, so time to get a shave on. Today's razor, the Coles Slant. Um, one second. All right, we're back. Uh, see, this is the case that came in. I still haven't polished the case, so my bad. This is the um, Razor Rock German 37 Slant. You can see it's scalloped on the top cap and on the safety bar. And this one's only on the safety bar. But look at the cap design. And it's this one's a lot shorter. But this was designed off of this. why they called the German 37 slant because this was the Mercor made in Germany 37 C 37 slant they also have 39 39 slant which is or 39 C I think it is it's long handle version of this this is the 37 C HD made for at least that I know of eight companies that I know of as of right now it was made for and sold under by McCore. Our soap today, Talbot Shaving Howling Glen. It's a green earthy scent um, with oak moss in it. I've got it in my stainless steel bowl all spread around. It's a good scent. Um, this is if you mix Barrister and Man's Petrichor and Diamond together. That this is the scent you get. And if you remember one of my videos months ago, maybe a year ago, I did mix Diamond and Petrichor together, and I got a scent better than the two individually. And this is exactly the same thing. It's the smell of grass and damp earth. And the brush today, my 24 millimeter Omega Bore that I just finished. Softening up. Stick that back in the water. Okay, I'm going to pause again. I'll be right back. I want to whip the lather. You don't have to sit around for that. All right, I'm back. We got a nice lather with droopy peaks as Uncle L likes to say uh, okay let's see if we can do this with glasses on because I got a lot to read now I was talking with my neighbor and we were I mentioned something about Game of Thrones and she had never seen it and her husband had never seen it neither one of them had seen it Oh man, I'll tell you what, there's a big difference in this brush since I did that. That is so much better on the skin. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you got a bore brush, go ahead and do that trick that I just showed in my last video today. That is incredibly different. That is a lot better. It'll make you give up your synthetics. <laughs> Because the tips are soft, but it's still got a lot of backbone. Okay. And she said she heard that there was a lot of incest involved in that show. And that she wasn't interested in it because of that. And I just looked at her and laughed. Sorry. And she's like, what are you laughing about? Oh, there's a Wizomat uh, Super Iridium Blade on, in here on its fourth use. I said, you do know that Queen Elizabeth and her husband, Prince Philip, are both great-great-grandchildren of 
Queen Victoria. And she's like, what? <laughs> I said, you didn't know? <laughs> and I started thinking, well, that would be a good topic for today's discussion. I do like a slant razor. They are efficient shavers. They really are. And I asked her, I said, did you know that the House of Windsor, English royal family last name, Windsor, is, are actually German? And she's like, no, they're not, they're English. I said, no, they're German. In 1917, the King of England changed their last name because of the anti-German sentiment during World War I running through England. Their last name is actually Sox Coburg Goth. Gotha. It's S-A-X-E um, dash C-O-B-U-R-G or C-O-B-U-R-G slash G-O-T-H-A. Gotha. She's like, what? I said, yeah. All right. Here's an, here's, uh, we're getting into this. There's a lot to read here. In, two, in 2013, geneticist Peter Ralph and Graham Coop showed that all Europeans are descendants from exactly the same people. Basically, everyone alive in the ninth century in Europe who left descendants is the ancestor of every living European today. So, every European today, every European living today that was born there is a descendant from somebody that lived in Europe in the ninth century. And that includes Charlemagne, Drogo, Pippin, and Hugh, all famous people in European history. While the family trees are complicated, and there are many ways that European royals are all related to each other, one of the simplest is to look at King George II, who was the King of Great Britain and Ireland from, 19, from 1727 until 1760. George's ancestors now had Europe's royal families, as his children and grandchildren married royals from around the continent. This means that the royals in Britain, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Spain, and Monaco are all distinctly related to each other. I got a long part of this to read to you guys after I get done with the shade because it's very interesting and you might enjoy that. And it was very, very, very common in medieval times for first cousins to marry each other to keep family land plots in the family. It was a very common thing to have happen. All right. And the British British royalty is also linked to the Romanovs, the late Tsar of Russia, who was murdered by the, the communist along with his whole family. The remains of two children thought to be Maria and Alexei Romanov were found in a field in 2007. It was Prince Philip's DNA, the 
Queen Elizabeth's ex-husband, well, he died before she did, it was his DNA that was used to identify them. And that news was revealed in 2016. It was so common for royals to marry their, their offspring off to other royals to keep a royal lineage going and to bind families together and countries together to avoid war. All right, the late Prince Philip is related to the Romanovs through his mother and his father. Philip is the grandnephew of Alexandra Romanov, Nicholas, Nicholas II's wife, and the last Tsarina of Russia. He is also cousin to the Russian royal family. Queen Elizabeth was the great-great-granddaughter of Queen Victoria, and Prince Philip is Victoria's great-great-grandson. They're also cousins through King Christian IX of Denmark. They're first cousins. Let me, let me get into this before I do the final, before I do my neck. Here we go. Queen Elizabeth is related to King Christian IX of Denmark and was the great, great grand, he was the great, great grandfather of Queen Elizabeth II. Elizabeth's father, George VI, was the son of George V, who was the son of Alexandra of Denmark who was the daughter of Christian IX. Prince Philip is related to King Christian IX of Denmark because it's his paternal great-grandfather. Philip's father was Prince Andrew of Greece and Denmark, who was the son of Prince George I of Greece, who was the son of Christian IX. It is a wild, wild family tree, guys. It is. If you've never looked at it, you can look it up. It is just a wild family tree. This is a great scent on this soap. Harold V of Norway is actually descended from Christian IX three ways. Twice through his father and once through his mother. Margareth II of Denmark is descended once from each Victoria and Christian IX. She is also first cousin to Carl XVI, Gustav of Sweden, through Victoria's granddaughter, Princess Margaret of Konoff. Philippe VI is, of Spain is descended from Victoria three ways and Christian the Ninth twice. His father, King Juan Carlos I, is descended from Victoria and not Christian the Ninth. while Juan Carlos's consort, Queen Sophia, is twice a descendant of Victoria and twice a great-great-granddaughter of Christian the Ninth. Charles III is descended from both Christian IX and Queen Victoria twice as his parents Queen Elizabeth II 
and Prince Philip were descendants of both monarchs. So Charles III, who's sitting on the throne now, hi Charles, So yes, the King of England is a product of incest. You won't see that in the newspapers. Actually, I'm getting into the last part while I'm shaving, so I might not have to read it all to you. But you will... The family tree has no branches, but there's a lot of leaves. King Carl the 16th Gustav of Sweden is descended from Victoria twice as his parents were second cousins because they were both great grandchildren of Victoria. In addition, Carl XVI Gustav also descends on his maternal side from Victoria's half sister, Victoria's half sister Fedora, or Theodora. Carl XVI Gustav is not a descendant of Christian IX. However, his descendants are maternal on his maternal side. From the parents of Christian the Ninth to Christian Ninth's elder brother Frederick. It's all one big happy intertwined family. What a family reunion that would be, huh? And they talk about rednecks going to family reunions so they can pick up women. <laughs> My ass, look at the royalty of, of Europe. That's where they get it from. Right here as usual. In my neck. I think I just caught myself right there. Right where the fold of my glasses leaves a crease in my head. I think I just caught it. Smooth now. All right. Conversely, Philip, king of the Belgians, is descended from King Christian IX, but not Queen Victoria, although he is a descendant of Victoria's maternal uncle, as well as her husband, Prince Albert of Saxony, Coburg, or, or uh, excuse me, as well as her maternal uncle. I'm sorry. Let me start over. Philip, King of Belgium, is descended from King Christian IX, but not from Queen Victoria, although he is a descendant of Victoria's maternal uncle, as well as her husband, Prince Albert of Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha, paternal uncle. Leopold I, King of the Belgians, Philip's father, King Albert II, who abdicated in the summer of 2013, is a first cousin to Harold V of Norway through their grandfather, Prince Carl, Duke of Vestergutland, married to Princess Ingborg of Denmark, a granddaughter of Christian IX.
I didn't, I, I didn't make this shit up, okay? I couldn't make this shit up. This is all real life. The royals of England, or excuse me, Europe, are all a bunch of inbreeding knuckleheads. Now, we all know the stories about marrying my daughter off to his son so that we could become not enemies anymore, lower the risk of war, our families could be friends to a certain point, and all that shit. This just takes all that to a whole new freaking level, does it not? Well, that's that's like Tsar Nicholas during World War One didn't want to go to war with Germany because the king of Germany was his cousin. They're they're all it's just a hodgepodge of freaking incest. Oh, you know what I didn't bring down? Right there, though. Okay. My Allen block, the broken pieces of it. Maybe I didn't cut myself. Who knows? No, I don't feel any sting there. I don't feel anything cold and wet on the cheeks. Yeah, there's nothing there. Maybe three quarters of a point on the neck, out of a scale of one to ten. Maybe three quarters. It's, it's not. It's it's not. I mean, my neck's always like that anyway. It's just a little worse than normal, which is usually like half a point. It's but it's not even a full point. It's close, but not quite. So next time you're discussing Game of Thrones and people are laughing about the incest. <laughs> Good old Walgreens, El Cheapo, Witch Hazel. And we're just going to use unscented um, from chisel base, excuse me. Scented aftershave, and we're going to use Wickham. I couldn't remember the freaking name of the company. I couldn't see it either. Wickham Soap Company, nine twelve Scottish Heather, because it's a similar scent. It's not one hundred percent the same, but it is kind of similar. We're going to use our aftershave balm. Which is like a gel. Oops. Yeah. More. It's a great scent. It's very, very, very close to um, Howling Glen. It's, it's, they're very close, very similar. I think this is this is a little bit more green and less less damp earth smell, but it's still it's close. All right, guys, that's it. That's. If you ever get the time and you really want to look at something interesting, look, you it's all over. There's all kinds of different places you can look it up. But the family trees of Europe going back centuries. One tree, no branches, 
bunch of leaves. Seriously, it's all, they're all intertwined, interlocked. It's one big family reunion over there, all of them. So not one of them can say my my queen's or my king is better than your king or queen because <laughs> they're the same freaking family. Anyways, uh, I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. I was loud during this and I shouldn't have been. I'm sorry. I noticed in my last couple videos for some reason the volume on my phone on the recording went up. Or it's getting magnified when I download it and process it through my editor. I don't know which it is. I'm going to try playing it back on the phone and see what happens, see how loud it is. I'm sorry, I forgot. I was a little loud. I've been trying to keep it down because it's it's loud. All right, anyways, I appreciate it. Don't forget the affiliate link. If you're getting something from the Razor Company, go ahead and use that link. I'll get 10% uh, on whatever you buy, and it goes into an account, and I put it in. I just put it in my, it goes to my PayPal, and when it, that hits $25, I go ahead and use it to buy a $25 gift card to the Razor Company, give it back to you guys. I don't make anything on it. I know a lot of guys do. I don't. I give it back to you guys. You're the ones using it, so I'm giving it back to you guys. And it might go to somebody who didn't use it. I don't know, but I figure I just give it back to you guys because if I want something, I'm going to buy it. And I'm on a soap buying freeze right now because I got eight years worth of soap in my den, so I'm not buying any more for a while. couple here and there. I'm going to preface that. I've said it before. I buy a couple here and there only because there's series of soap still out that I want to finish getting. And they have the other two haven't come out yet for it. But other than that, I'm really not buying soaps. I'm buying gear, yes, because I still like to buy odd razors. But other than that, buying freeze. Certain things. Maybe a brush here, a bowl here, whatever. Anyways, all right, guys. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Don't forget the affiliate link. Don't forget to check out the four channels I will put in the description box. Links to them. Go ahead and give them a sub and a like. Uh, let's help boost their numbers up. I'm sure they would appreciate it. And once again, thank you all for being here. Love you all. Really do. Appreciate it. Now, <clears throat> I will say this. Enough of the babbling fat guy in the camera. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys. And don't sleep with your cousin. <laughs>